next we will have wide receiver KD Nixon and we will open it up to questions. KD, based on a Based on how Saturday went for you guys in L.A., does this team feel like it has something to prove, whether it's to yourselves or to the outside world coming up this Saturday? I mean, at the end of the day, we always got something to prove. You know, we never satisfied. You know, Saturday turned out how it turned out, and we back to work today. What do you have to do against the Washington defense? Honestly, be ourselves. You know, the only thing we can control is Colorado football. How do you try to limit all the uh, negative plays and plays that went for zero yards this week? Is, is Can you ask it again? How do you try to limit all your negative plays on offense and all the plays that went for zero yards? I think you had, guys had over 25 or 30 of them against SC. How do you try to negate those this week? Honestly, you know, going back to look at the film, you know, we had a lot of mistakes, things that we could have uh, did way better. So, you know, just getting back in the film room, going harder in practice, correcting the little things, you know, just getting back to work. One of the guys in your receiver room, Jalen Jackson, hadn't played in a game and made a catch until for three years until on Saturday. What, what was that moment like for you guys to, to see him get out there on a game? I mean, honestly, it was exciting for me because, you know, me and Jalen grew up together since second grade. So you just seeing him being back out there and letting him, you know, show his ability to the whole city and town and the whole world. And it was just amazing. KD, we've heard a lot all season about the, the depth at receiver. Uh, you haven't needed it too much so far, but with a couple guys, uh, you know, status in question at this point for this week, uh, how important will it be for, for those guys next in line, you know, Jalen being one of them, uh, to potentially have to step up and, and contribute this week? Like you said, the next person got to step up. You know, if, if, if we got all our receivers, no matter what, we got to compete. We got to go out there like it was nothing and just be ready to play. Hey, KD, they, they always say that Adversity doesn't build character, it exposes it, all right? So you guys had your first bit of adversity this season. Well, what, what have you seen from this team? How has this team responded? What, what has been the character that's been revealed by what you guys have gone through here the last week? I mean, honestly, it, it, it brought the best of us. You know, we, we had practice yesterday, and it was like a, a mental day. But today we all was ready. We all was locked in. We all was happy. You know, uh, I got a big, big step to step up to. So, you know, I'm going to lead these guys, and I'm going to take, take full advantage of it. Their secondary has been one of the best in the country the last few years and still is. What do you see out of their secondary that's maybe different than what you guys have seen from, from other teams? What makes them so good back there? I mean, honestly, they just they will coach, you know. Uh, going back over the film throughout the throughout the days, making the, uh, watching the cut ups, they just they know what they're doing, you know, they have a good scheme, a good a good some good DBs. They had they got number one number one best D B in college football, uh Brian Murphy, number one. So, you know, it's, it's a challenge, you know, just what you live for. So just why we came to Colorado. Thank you all.